do not key one of these things up at a hospital unless you have the express permission of the hospital itself. That is the biggest thing I want you to take away from this video. This can cause some major issues. And the last thing that any of us want is a kid to be hurt because your radio transmitted. Hello everyone. In the news on all the Ghostbuster chats is that there was a screenshot of one of the characters and they had a radio and it suspected that it's the UV5R. Now I have it on good authority that it probably is the UV5R. Here's the thing. Is this here is a ham radio. I know it's cheap but it's still a ham radio and it's also known to be kind of a, a dirty radio um it's maybe not the best one out there it might have something to do with the price that being said is i'm going to get into actually how to program these in a future episode but i want everybody to be aware of a couple things first there is this phenomena and it will apply to visible light. It will apply to the electromagnetic spectrum, which is also visible light and everything in between. Now, this phenomena is called desensing. And what can happen is, is that if one thing is transmitting, even if another radio or a light is not even on the same frequency or the same color, is that it can overwhelm and blow out all of the transmission that is happening. Let me show you an LED light here and I'm going to turn it on. And then behind it, I'm going to have just another flashlight. I'm going to turn that flashlight on. Now you will notice that instantly when the flashlight turns on that you can no longer see the LED. I'm also going to show you something here. This is what is called spurious emissions or when you transmit on something, it will send out transmissions on harmonics, and that would be multiples of whatever frequency you're on. What we have here is my radio, the UV5R. I have this, this it's called an antenna attenuator, and what this allows me to do is to send a signal from this radio to this device right here, this thing called a tiny SA, and what it will do is tell me where the frequencies are on this or where it's transmitting. I'm going to use what's called a simplex frequency. So this is the 14652. This is not a frequency that you're allowed to use unless you are licensed. This blue line here is the legal limit of where a harmonic can actually give extra power. Now I'm gonna take this radio and I'm gonna key it up. And you'll notice that things raise up here and you'll notice that the first spike is really high then you see the second spike it went up above that blue line for a minute and now it is down below now this is technically a legal radio because that spur or that number two is below the blue line but it wasn't below the blue line when i first keyed it up there's a chance that's going to give a burst and that's going to cause some issues now us Ghostbusters like to go to children's hospitals and cheer up the kids. And that is amazing and I encourage that. But let's just take that Desense thing and this radio. Let's say you have this thing turned on and you have it programmed for a legal channel that you're allowed to transmit on. And again, we'll cover that in a future episode on how to program these things. If you key this thing up around some equipment that uses radio communications and you Desense it, you might be putting some of the medical equipment at risk of not functioning properly. Now, let me say that again. If you key up the radio near medical equipment, you have the chance of desensing it. And if you desense it, that medical equipment is not going to be able to work properly. This is not what the Ghostbusters are all about. So please do not key up one of these radios within a hospital environment unless you have express permission from the hospital to do so. This can cause some major issues and the last thing that any of us want is a kid to be hurt because your radio transmitted. The ham radio community strangely enough is very much like the Ghostbusters community and they would welcome a lot of you with open arms. 
you have to take a test and show that you understand competency on using the radio and things like I just showed you on the desensing and the spurious emissions. Because if you're not aware of these, you can cause some major issues for emergency services, for hospitals, for search and rescue. Am I telling you not to buy the radio? No, not even close. If you want to get the radio, that's great. What I want you to do is use it responsibly. I want you to use it legally. And I you know, have zero issues with you getting the radio. In fact, there are affiliate links down below for getting one of these guys. But please be safe and do not key one of these things up at a hospital unless you have the express permission of the hospital itself. That is the biggest thing I want you to take away from this video. I can't believe I just about forgot to put this on here. Some of you have been following my channel for quite a while and I have props and effects and that kind of stuff on here. But I also run another channel or just started a new channel and it's called the Ham Radio Rookie and it is on my adventures of learning how to play around with ham radio. And let's be completely honest, if you're a complete and utter Ghostbusters fan, you're a nerd. Ham Radio guys, they're nerds. Just different kind of nerdery. You should go check it out because it's, it's a lot of fun. Keep on busting, keep on putting smiles on kids' faces because that is awesome and you are amazing when you do stuff like that. Just be safe.